Filming underwater is incredibly tricky and one of the biggest reasons for this is because you need to be filming in the right settings. Everything from your resolution to your ISO settings make a big difference in your underwater video, which is why you need to know the right settings to use. Hey guys, I'm Raymond Tiller and today I'm going to be giving you the absolute best film settings for underwater use with the GoPro Hero 10. The Hero 10 gives you the opportunity to film in a lot of different settings, so much that choosing the right ones can be difficult at times. Filming underwater is like nothing else. This is why so many people struggle to capture the video they want underwater. But there's no need to worry because I'm about to give you the best underwater settings. Now of course, the first and most important thing you need to adjust before you head under the surface is your resolution and frame rate. With the Hero 10, you can film all the way up to 5.3K, but just because that option is there doesn't mean you have to use it. Of course, video in 5.3K looks stunning, but it has some downsides for underwater video. I wouldn't suggest using 5.3K while snorkeling, as you're only able to film in 60 frames per second. Snorkeling typically requires faster movement, both with yourself and what you're filming, which is why a higher FPS is better. Now, when it comes to diving, it all comes down to battery life. If you're filming in 5.3K, the battery on your Hero 10 will die pretty quickly, which is something every diver worries about while filming. For diving, I'd recommend 4K at 120 frames per second. Being able to film in 4K 120 is absolutely insane, and it will help you capture some amazing footage. However, if 5.3K video is something you need to have, you'll need to conserve your battery life. And for snorkeling, I recommend either 4K 120 or 2.7K 240. Personally, 2.7K 240 is just perfect for snorkeling. It allows for you to capture some awesome slow-mo footage. And 2.7K is still pretty good quality. The key to capturing cinematic underwater video is slow motion, which is why you should be filming in the highest frames per second you possibly can. Any frame rate over 60 will work perfectly for underwater. Now before I continue forward, my channel is full of all kinds of underwater videos like diving and snorkeling, along with GoPro videos just like this one. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on new videos. Moving on, this next setting I'm about to go over is something you need to use for underwater video, and it's Hyper Smooth Stabilization. We are now up to Hyper Smooth 4.0 with the Hero 10, and it's proved itself to be the most stabilized action camera in the world. GoPro really prides themselves on how stabilized their cameras are, and for good reason. I've been saying it for years, the number one problem I see with underwater video is the lack of stabilization. I've seen so many great shots get ruined by shaky footage, which can be very frustrating. This is why you you need to have Hyper Smooth turned on. This feature is available in all specs on the Hero 10, and you even have the option to film in Hyper Smooth Boost, which stabilizes your video even more. Next, let's talk about field of view. For years now, it's been common belief that you should only film in wide field of view for underwater video, but that's not entirely true. Of course, unless you plan on doing some macro videography, the narrow field of view should never be used while underwater, but everything else is up for grabs. Wide is the field of view you should use the most. It creates a little bit of a fisheye look to your video, which is good for underwater. However, linear is also a good option. This field of view is best suited for snorkeling as it creates more of a cinematic look when you're closer to the surface. But if you're diving, then wide field of view is the way to go. You can also film in super view mode, which allows for you to capture a lot in your shot. I don't think this is something you should film in all the time, but if it's used in the right way, it can really enhance your video. Now let's move on to some more detailed parts of your settings, like ISO and white balance. Your ISO entirely depends on the environment you're filming in. For those of you that don't know, ISO is all about how much light exposure your camera films. If you're going into shallow water with a lot of available light, make sure your ISO max is turned down to something like 800 or 1600. When going in deeper water with less available light, make sure to turn your ISO max pretty far to something like 3200. White balance is also very important when filming underwater. The Hero 10 gives you the option to regulate how much red or blue exposure your video gets, which is just fantastic for underwater video. If you're diving in the ocean where your video will look very blue, then make sure to crank up the red channel on your Hero 10. This will make your video pop and you'll get more colors like red, orange, and yellow instead of blue. 
Alright guys, now that is pretty much gonna wrap up today's video, but before you go, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below what you think, and most importantly, subscribe with notifications turned on so you never miss out on awesome videos just like this one. I'm Raymond Tiller, and I'll see you on the next video.